Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing super well. I'm making this video on the fly today because we just got some incredible information about mortgage rates. Yes, mortgage rates went down quite a bit this morning. I'm going to share that with you in a second, but this goes along exactly with what I've been talking about here recently with saying mortgage rates are peaking out, prices are leveling out. And listen, um, I'm just telling you what the market's doing right this second. I'm not saying that mortgage rates can't go back up and prices can't come down. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I can tell you what it looks like from this point of view right now in the present. And that is that prices have leveled. We're not going to see prices go down much. Now, th now this is localized as well. Some markets are going to be coming down some more and you know some are going to go up faster. And It's all localized, but when you're talking about it on a general basis, prices are leveling and we're not going to see much more decreases unless mortgage rates do in fact go back up quite a bit. Um, so a lot of the bears when this started happening were saying it's going to be you know 10 to 12 percent then they kind of retracted to 8 to 10 percent and now you don't even hear from any of the bears whatsoever. But one reason why the market isn't going to crash um, whatsoever this is just a mild correction. And one reason why it's not crashing is because of one word, anticipation. So many people are anticipating uh, this crash. And the reason being is because we learned so much from 2008 and basically it's out of fear. People are scared that we're going to go into a 2008 because that was so bad. And they want to be the genius that, that, that called it out. They want to be the genius that predicted that things were going to crash harder than 2008. So everybody is a Michael Burr now. Um, everybody is a Kyle Bass from the movie The Big Short. Um, everybody wants to be that genius that called it so they can go back and say, look, here, I did a video back in the day. <clears throat> but that's that's the thing here. Everybody's anticipating this. The reason 2008 was so bad is because nobody saw it coming. Nobody saw it coming. Everybody thought it was just going to keep going up. And 99% um, of people got caught. And me included. I got caught flipping houses. I had a lot of partners. I seen people that were 50, 60 years old, went through the same thing I went through in terms of losing everything, going bankrupt. And those were some hard times. And we all got caught, you know, we got caught and we learned our lessons. And now everybody is over preparing, right? They're they're preparing for the worst, they're hoping for the best. So it's a really good rule of thumb. This is what we should have been doing back in 2008 is preparing for the worst, but we weren't. We were preparing for the best and hoping for the best. And that's never never a good scenario. But we're in an incredibly strong market. Mortgage rates today, guys, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. 6.29. That's what Mortgage News Daily has as our 30-year fixed. Everything else is under six. The, the jumbo, the VA, the FHA, um, the arms, they're all under six. And I guarantee you that you're locking in 30-year mortgages right now under six because all the banks have to kind of compete with this national average. Um, so I guarantee you there's a lot of mortgages getting locked in today under six and a lot of happy buyers um, right this second. So it's down about um, 35 basis points right this second. Just from yesterday, just from yesterday, it's down 35 basis points. So so this is an incredible news. Um, going back to the market, days in the market right now, looked at that. We're at 35 days in the market, according to Redfin data average in the country. Back in 2019, we were at 50 days on the market. Now, this is listings that have sold. This isn't counting for the listings that haven't sold. Um, you know, so that's something to think about. There's, there's definitely um, less transactions, um, and you know, there, there's some, there's some negative stuff in there, but there's so much positive data happening right now and to be expected with the negative stuff with the shift and how crazy everything was getting and remember earlier this year um when rates were 5.5 when they hovered around there for a couple months that was the most incredible market that we've ever seen so what i want you to imagine because prices were higher back then what i want you to imagine is prices lower than it was then and rates at five and a half how incredible of a balanced market that was that's going to be um, how happy the buyers are going to be, how happy the sellers are going to be. We've increased um, the gains from March 2020 um, is in the 40% range, you know, for properties um, since the pandemic started. 40%. We've only erased like 5% of those gains, um, and it's not going to get much worse at all. The sellers are in incredible shape. What, what the illusion is, is that they... They feel like they're not in great shape because they're not getting what they could have got, you know, 
six months ago, you know, or even later last year, or they can't put their property in the market and sell it on a day for 50,000 over asking price. Okay, but you're still getting, you know, 20, 30% more than you were in 2019. How is this a bad thing? So I think the sellers just need to come down from Mars, come, come back to Earth. Um, we still have plenty of demand, plenty of demand, plenty of pent up demand as well as with these interest rates continue to come down um, over the course of next year, you're going to see um, transactions pick up quite a bit because people are just sitting on the sidelines that got knocked out of the market. Man, this is incredible news. This is super positive. Um, you know, I didn't figure this would happen this quick, but um, it's exciting. So um, anyway, I'm going to keep spreading all this positivity your way. I'm going to keep you informed, keep you on top of it. Let me know if there's anything in the world that I can do for you. We'll see you guys in the next video.